I feel like all those decks really need like a royal decree that puts the card in your hand. There are so many wacky combo decks that just aren't consistent because that card doesn't exist. Operator decks have struggled with that for a very long time, but now there's like Vilgaforts too. About Quarrel? Well, I can't play Quarrel in Nilfgaard. You could try to do like Iris's Companions things, but then you're doing Iris's Companion things. I don't know what I'm doing. stream? No. This will start either tomorrow or the day after. No. I'm getting milled, I see. Do I have points? Please? Please! Game! Play the fucking card! Okay. Oh, nice. But Meditating Mage ordered to transfer himself, but with the same effect. Oh, transform himself? Uh, I don't know. That's an approach. Did I miss a tortoise check? Oh. Oh, it's there. Oh, I should have damaged this so that I can purge. Oh, he's actually playing Necromancy. Wow, we man, he just mills all my good cards. That's impressive. I wish I could do that. Mage is a better card if it's a deploy. You don't want to do that. Like, they lose one, but then they get to deploy things with resilience, which is way stronger, generally, than orders with resilience. Plus, then what? Are we not, like, using the order to give resilience so you can just stack your Eratusa adepts for no cost? I don't know. I don't know how you even like consolidate that with the vitality effect. It feels like you're making the alumni deck stronger to make the the meme deck worse. Three. 
Caesar over anything. Maybe over Witch Hunter. This so way I have units in deck too. Oh. Yeah, okay. This bounty. Yeah. I do. I do not mix words on principle. No, can't this find? Mostly boring. Leads to really binary matchups. And like the more you build around it, the worse it gets. Still six at the moment. Hmm. That's annoying. Nope. Base power. Everything in this archetype is governed by how much base power your opponent has. Let's jackpot in. I mean, this is our first game, but it lets you play Tunnel Drill. It's a pretty nice bonus. something. Oh wait, last destroyed enemy unit with a bounty. God, this card? <laughs> this fucking archetype, man. Yes, I just slander. Or no, I want to have a spender first. I want to play this first. Do I get the profit? I guess I could have like bountied this and then wait. What? Boost self equal to the base power of the last destroyed enemy unit with a bounty. Wasn't it Sunset Wanderers? Why is this thing a 12? Oh, never mind. Pockets. Group jackpot. I mean, I think if you're playing Jackpot with Caesar, he should be pretty good. Oh, wait. Nice deck. Fun! Or every spender I played. I thought one of those was gonna live. Wait, you're serious? I 
Oh wait, there's a boat in my hands. That's less than ideal. Um. might as well. Purge the self-eater. No vigilantes now. Passes. Have a good damage spender though. Man. Okay, so what's the plan here? If I play Professor. I'll just take him to a long round. I'm just gonna take him to a long round. Which still means that I have to play Drill. Yeah, I think it's pretty easy to value Professor more than Drill. Especially now that Drill just kind of dies. Drill's sort of an older bear. Um, yeah. yeah, it was hard for me to fit in, Professor. I thought it was kind of crazy to not play it. I forget what I ended up cutting. I think I was playing Heat Wave. Yeah, and then I dropped the heat wave to add the professor. Drill gets locked or parasited. Yeah, but on the other hand, that does mean that like one of your other spenders isn't getting locked or parasited, right? They only have so many answers. Round two, like a monkey. I think I did. We didn't get punished, but we definitely should have. Yeah, I feel like Jackpot gets to use Drill better than everything else. You can use Leader to protect it. Pretty happy to see that. Oh wait, I don't want to do that. What do I want to do? Just like, play Executioner? See what he does. for not having a spender, but whatever. Am I running brew? Yeah, why not? If you're playing bounty, don't know why you wouldn't.
pretty sure just like hold my leader and do this. Three witch hunters right now. This thing's profit six. Boost self by nine. How can I set all this up? Let me just do this. Be cheeky here. This isn't even cheeky. What am I doing? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, sure. I think I could have maybe killed a ghoul with it. I wasn't counting my witch hunters. One, two, eh, whatever. He's he's dead. We're playing bounty, and he's playing big units. There's not really much to this. Ray. Nice points, opponent. Would be a shame if your opponent played removal that scaled with how many points you have. Yeah, there are two very different mage decks. There's like the the Mimi spam meditating mage deck. Which everyone was really scared of on patch day. Uh, and then there's the alumni deck, which is probably a lot scarier. It just like has a ton of removal. Playing jackpot. Uh, it lets you get to coin cap and then deploy a spender that gets protected a little bit, and it lets you protect tunnel drill. Also, every leader sucks. How am I- why- why? Why did I put- whatever. It's fine. Yep, spawned alumni, the same. So rune words get crazy high rolls. The difference between hitting alumni off rune word and missing alumni is, like, game winning or losing. Oh, cool. I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> I only loot corpses, except sometimes they're quite fresh. The dark is my ally. I really don't want to play anymore. Alumni is generally fine. I really hate that Rune Word has a variance of like 20 points. Oh boy. It depends how much you value the removal. 
Like, if alumni is dealing six or seven damage, that's worth way more than six or seven points in most matchups. I mean, it's both, right? It's just about rune word in general. Play Brawl this month? Yeah, probably in a couple days. We'll do a split of Gwent and Brawl. listen to it yet. Probably at some point, maybe. I mean, the problem with Gorther Alchemist was the carryover more than the high roll. Like, Gorther could always just be a lot of points if they hit Alchemist. Or not Alchemist, uh... What's the fucking card called? Mentor. That card always had high roll potential. But what was worse was they just had this incidental card that was sometimes a bunch of carryover in their deck that they could use to take dry passes. Um... Why does this deck have no reach, ever? Boat out is one short. Oh. Feels bad. All my reach is in my opponent's hand. That's true. He did steal all my good cards. I don't think we have a spender problem. Was that? naturally wants to play a lot of spendies. I don't mind playing jackals. Like, jackpot protecting your big spenders like Tunnel Drill and Freak Show seems so much better than just getting a couple of jackals. Um... I don't know, it's just gonna get locked. More invo, it's even worse. When it's near, hail is near. Yes. Because it's not plus whatever bounty value on that unit, because you could cash that bounty out with something else instead. Like being generous, you can say like half of the bounty value gets attributed to the leader. And even that's probably too generous. Like, when you're playing Slander, you're expecting to get four points out of the bounty. So if you're giving all that value to the leader, then Slander is a three-point card. Yeah, I can share the deck after the game. I think I want to have a Purify for Witchfinder. I mean, Jackpot just feels like a fine leader. I don't know. Being able to deploy Freak Shows is not for.
He has leader charges. I don't know why this Witchfinder is walking. I have no idea what's going on. I'm just gonna end up with a bricked Graydon. I know he has Professor and Brute in his hand. Hey, finally. So if I play this, I let him lock another spender, but I'm pretty sure I'm just going to be purifying a spender. Nothing has profit, right? Um, I was just going to Professor this, right? And I can't do anything about that. situation makes me not able to do what I want to do. So, boom. So he has Brute and Professor. I believe that I beat Brute plus Professor. Professor gets to kill my Witchfinder. Wait, no, because he doesn't have coins. Oh, I can click these coins, right? No, I was thinking my row was filling, but yeah, it could have been. Whoops. Um. So what? I've got 8, 9, 10. Cannot quite kill Scoundrel. Bounty doesn't matter either. Last card's brute. I know it's not 30 points. I don't know why I was thinking. I also like that I have very easily won three games in a row and I've been miserable in all of them. First game was against Mill. Second game was against Gurney, which we just walked over. And as a human being with empathy, who's played Gurney before in matchups like this, I know how it feels, so I can't even feel good about bullying Gurney. And then I queue into a guy playing spotters and stealing two of my most expensive cards. Um, I need productivity. I need this. I mean, this matchup might be fun. I don't know. Like, I'm pretty sure the... I guess Mill could have been fine with other decks, but... Yeah, Alchemist deck was going to be miserable no matter what I was playing. I have a Nilfgaard deck build that we'll play later. I got the Torque buff. Jobs it 
It is around three bronze. What are you making copies of with Illusionist? I've spent a ridiculous amount of time staring at the deck builder, trying to figure out what you're supposed to do with Illusionist, and I've come up empty every time. Donka. Wait, how do I beat a Donka? I have to like slow kill it. Okay, this all worked out. to do it. You can't let Witchfinder live. So he could, like, skags me, so... Um, let's try to cash the drill out now.
Pipo drilled. We still have a lot of points in our hands too. Like, I don't think we were losing. <laughs> Uh, okay. I mean, we didn't have more crimes, but we did have more points. The North shall tuck tail and beg for mercy. Hippo drill. The uh, Wandering Mage deck, like the all in be a maniac Wandering Mage deck, please, Pinsir. I, I honestly still have no idea. Everyone's still playing, like, really all in variants of things. When decks get more stable, it'll be easier to say. But like right now, it feels like everyone on ladder is trying to play rock paper scissors. Usually, what happens is eventually people realize that there's a deck that can play both rock and scissors, and then that ends up being one of the leading decks. Um. Yeah, but a lot of things got better, got different. The whole metagame changes when a bunch of cards get introduced. Just because something was good in the past doesn't mean that it'll still be good against the new field. Drill. I wasn't expecting to get to Peepo Drill. So what, four is the best I get? Forced me to play another gold. Hmm. Hmm, I still got his leader. Um, what did I run out? I've gotta be careful about playing another spender. Just play this for carryover. Maybe we could have just played this last turn and spent with Jackal. Enough points though.
5p crime? I am. I don't think I want to play the, the other one. It just generates coins and deals like one damage to things. Seems a little weak. I'm gonna try to protect this. Oh my god, why is it so slow? <laughs> I don't remember it being so slow. FM still gets updated. The tracker started crashing a bunch. Oh hey, never mind, it is working. enough to not get my boat back. This also isn't a witch hunter. Is that slow? I don't think so. I think they've 